While other students were affected by the eight-month acid strike, students of Ebony State University received lectures, submitted quiz, and wrote exam. Currently now, we are signing out of their alma mater. Welcome to another episode of Campus Vibe. Today, we are in Ebony State University, Cass Campus, precisely, Agri Faculty to witness the happy moment of the soon-to-be-graduated students. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn up the notification button. Hello, young lady. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm seeing the joy. You look so happy. Thank you. Which course, please? Um, soil science and environmental wow. management. So how do you feel signing out today? Hey, <laughs> I feel so excited. It's been a long journey, five years. Five years of life. Yes. I, seriously, I'm so grateful to God because not everyone who started ended yes. this journey with us. So like, it's a thing of joy. I'm so excited. Okay. So, my, what, what were the greatest challenges? Okay, my challenges mostly were finances. Finance. Yes. You know, there are things you don't budget for. Every day you come to school and they just pop up. And, you know, it was just finances, nothing else. I've, I did not have any bad encounter with any mm. student. With any, my lecturers were good. Like, mm. they were perfect. Like, I don't have any bad stories Wait, to excuse tell. excuse me. Yeah. Remember, you're no longer in this school. I'm no longer don't in this school. Don't say this to please anybody. No, don't say the truth. no, seriously, I know. Like, okay. you can ask anybody from my set. You can go to environmental management because soil science and environmental management is a combination of two courses you get. Yeah. So we have people in soil option and people in environmental yeah. option. So if for me, I don't know for any other person, like, I had a very good day, yeah. Okay, Choma, there's something I hear that says that Epsu mm -hmm. is the home of debit alert. How true ah. is it? <laughs> the person who made that statement is, should be um, given a title. Like, the person just said the truth. Epsu, home of debit alert. Yes. Now, Choma, now that you're out of university mm -hmm. and you've spent five years of mm -hmm. your life and you're living, what's the plan for the future? Just give us a little of it. Okay, I already have a, um, a collection. It's okay. called Oma Collection. Collection. Yes, I sell female wears, bags, and shoes. And you know, the one I'm looking, you should know that I'm into fashion. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and then I actually intend to put my full concentration on that to see how far I'll go on it. And then put my hands in other agricultural products too. Like okay. right now, I deal on rice. I sell rice. Like if you want any amount of this thing, any amount of maybe from 100 i can supply you know wow. i'm a supplier i can almost see the rice in your body <laughs> like yeah, no no you cannot see rice in my body <laughs> Chama, thank you very much i wish you all the best in yeah, years to come can i sign you. can i do the signing okay, please yeah, yeah. all right Chama, can i have a hug <laughs> no soft talk please <laughs> thank you <laughs> so how do you feel signing out today? Uh, how I, in fact, I can't explain or express how I feel right now. Like, you can feel what's happening around. I'm so overwhelmed, like seriously. So, so what, were, what were the greatest challenges during these five years in Epsu? Um, the challenges we had so far was just um, the way um, academic activities is being done here. Actually, they sometimes they choke the student. Most times, not even sometimes. And they, they give them limited time and limited resources to actually attain what they want. So it makes students like they, they will like feel that lectures are boring and so many other things. And in fact, they will be looking at it that ah, why are we even here? They feel like they should not come to lectures because the lectures are not too interesting as they expected it to be. So some of those are some of the challenges we actually had in school. And sometimes here is very expensive. That is another serious challenge that students have. Because everything is just about money. So those are the little, little challenges that you have. Time factor, um, inadequate materials, learning um, and facilities or any other thing. And then financial support is very difficult for the students. So those are the challenges. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, sir, now that you're out of uni, what, what is the plan for the future? The future is so bright. I, it is highly bright. In God, all things are possible. I believe that the future is highly bright. Because in Christ Jesus, we have everything we need. So if I live here, by the grace of God, uh, if God permits me to graduate as a first class student, there are so many opportunities out there, either to become a lecturer 
or I can actually venture in so many other things in terms of business wise. By the grace of God, I, I'm a good writer in, in the field of sciences, so I can advance in that area. I have a couple of textbooks I'm working on. One is already published. So when I get out, there is no point looking for a job. I will just sit down, work on so many other textbooks, work on things that can make academic more easier for the student. Because I know the challenges I passed through while I was here. I had to go online, I had to study the course outlines and materials of so many universities, apart from those in Nigeria, as in out of Nigeria, for me to be able to meet up with some certain requirements here, which some students find difficult to do, maybe because of ignorance or maybe because of laziness. If I can actually sit down and bring Bring down those things that are there down to this side. I believe it will be a, a bonus to the students. So when I graduate, I'm going to sit down, write materials, prepare materials, textbooks that can help the students do better than they have been doing before. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. All right, God bless you. Sir, may I your course? I study environmental management yes. here in this faculty. So the do it was combined with other courses, like they call it same. That is okay. soil science and environmental management. But that is two disciplines. We have the soil science and environmental management option. So I am in the environmental management option. So that one is purely sciences. We deal on anything that has to do with environment. Thank you very much, sir. Before you go, let me tell you, I'm a student of Ebony State University, Agri Faculty, Cast Campus. This is my class. This is my campus. He taught me when I was in year one. He taught me doing tutorials. It's loaded with a lot of knowledge. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. What's your name, please? I'm Mercy, my name is Mercy, congratulations on your signing now. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, Mercy, which course did you study? Food Science and Technology. Food Science and Technology. Yes. That's FST. Yes. So, how do you feel signing up today? Oh God, I feel so, so excited. Like I cannot just tell it all, but I know I feel so excited. So how is your experience in Ebony State University? Whoa, that's a big time talk, cause hell, torture, hey. stress. <laughs> but then I also say it's amazing. Like it's really a live teaching time. Like I learned a lot this period of my life. Yeah. At least now I can be able to stand for myself and say, yes, I can build that something from this person here because of the experience I got here. What are your challenges in the university? My challenges, most especially, yeah. I will not lie, money. Lack money, finances. Most times you want to get stuff, then the money will not be there for you to get it. And then stuff like that, very, very depressing. Money. money. Like someone else have earlier said that EPSU is like Ebony State University is a home of debit alert. Is ah, it true? Damn true. Like you every day, debit, debit. As the money is coming in, you never spend it for yourself every day, every day you're dispensing. Now, five years is gone, degree is done and dusted. What are your plans now that you're out of the university? Okay, well, at least I have a skill. Yeah. I would believe that certificates cannot actually put a food on your table. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that you should just dump it. Me having the skills, I'll just put more effort in my skill, like my tailoring work, and then bring out the best I can out of that. Process later if there is any sources for me to do my master. Thank you very much. Can I get a hug, please? Problem. Thank you so much. I'm by name Idam Azubito Nelson, Food Science and Technology Department. Wow. So how do you feel signing up today? Ah, uh, I feel so great. I feel so great because it has been a kind of a day, a unique day, a day that is different from any other day. Yes. Yeah, so that's why you see everybody excited, shouting, clapping. It's it's a kind, it's a taste of joy because from day one to final day, five we have years. to thank God. Five years course of course. Wow. We have to thank God for that. So, sir, okay. So, what, what are the greatest challenges when you're in school? Uh, the greatest challenge is there is just that you stress your brain to read because without reading, you can't achieve any success. So, and the greatest cha challenge is that you read to understand, and most of them to read to understand is a very big problem. Okay. So, the challenge is there that most of the times, if you read, you not understand. It will be as if you don't know anything. Then when you go to exam hall, you are seeing different things from what you read. So for you to be a kind of a student, you have to acquire the necessary step to make sure that you read in a way to understand even more than the lecturer itself. Wow. You see, yes, because there's a way you read, you understand more than the person that said the question. That makes you a perfect student. Agri faculty is a prestige faculty as far as a boys university is concerned. Because in agri faculty, there are things that happen here that cannot happen in any other place. Like, you cannot cheat in exam hall. You cannot cheat in exam hall. If you cheat, automatically, 
Pansite, the same took the judgment. I'm telling you, it, it's not a spelling like you go to Pansite. And when you go to Pansite, consider you need two years addition. You see, when they caught you in the exam and practice. So here, it's been a kind of essential to bring out the potentials of students here in the Boys University. As far as agri faculty is concerned, precisely FST. Okay. FST, Food Science and Technology. You hear Cass Campus is ready because of FST. Because we have most lecturers that are able to impact knowledge in you in different styles. FST. I'm telling you. I would like to be it. So I'm telling FST. you. It's a very nice course. When I asked people of their challenges, someone was saying finance, finance. Someone said EPSU is the home of debit alert. How true is it? Yes, actually, uh, we have. We are in a country where things are getting harder every day. And tuition fees are being increased daily basis. So if somebody says that the challenge of school fees or whatever, I agree with that person. There is a challenge in terms of tuition, payment of this and that. There are many things to pay for. And because it's, it's, just, it's just because of the situation we find ourselves in the country. Now that you're out of the university, what is your plan? A human being without vision is like a human being without direction. You understand? So far as you have undergone the process of this five years course, from what you read, you can become a kind of self-employee. If you don't want anybody to employ you, you can employ yourself by the vision of bringing out what you have read to put it into practice and make sure that it come out to be and to make it to be a kind of a business plan or production of bread, production of pure water industry. There are many things in field science and technology as far as it's concerned. There are many things to do. You don't have to go and run about to look for help. You can start helping yourself from this department. I'm telling you. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, please? Francisca. Francisca, you look cute. Oh, sorry, you look beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, Francisca, how do you feel signed out today? Oh, it is a dream come true, actually. Like, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. When I entered the one, it seems the journey was too far. But, see me here. Yeah, I've signed out. Five years life. Yo. <laughs> so when you're in school, what were your greatest challenges? Um, apart from financial constraints, I don't think there's any other thing that actually weighed me down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. In that aspect, I don't think there is any anything. It's just money, money, money. But but in state university, almost, um, almost debit a lot. You will spend. So that was just the only thing that was a challenge. School. Thank you. Now you are done with the university, what are your plans? Like, can you just share a little of, me, a little of your plans to me? I want to go and sleep today. Hey, I'll wake up. You are to Nigeria, Nigeria, this country now. Nah. Yeah. It doesn't have plans for me either. So I want to go and rest my head. Maybe if I wake up, I'll think of way forward. Okay, right now, I just want to go and rest and let rest. go of all the stress. All the stress. All the day for myself. How many years are you? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Congratulations once more. Thank Can I get a hug, please? <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Five years to life is no joke. We wish them the very best. My name is Steve Man, Uka Michael, your favorite TV presenter. Join me next Friday on another edition on Campus Vibe.